Welcome, top news today. Please subscribe and support this channel. Melania Trump has been criticized for voicing her commitment to eliminate cyberbullying, and she knows it. At a summit at the White House on Tuesday, Melania acknowledged that people were skeptical of her efforts and said their skepticism would not stop her from doing what is right. But when Melania Trump tweeted about the cyberbullying summit later that day, Twitter users wondered why she hasn't confronted her own husband about it. Melania said in her tweet that she and top tech executives had a very productive meeting on cyber safety and how to teach our children to be responsible digital citizens. Twitter users quickly responded to her tweet. Some urged her to call out her husband for his own online behavior, while others described her efforts as hypocritical. This is not the first time that Melania's critics have dismissed her attempts to address cyberbullying. Back in September, she condemned bullying while addressing a United Nations luncheon. Before she had even finished speaking, journalists, politicians, and other Twitter users rushed to discuss the apparent divide between Melania and her husband on the subject. A similar phenomenon unfolded on Twitter she tweeted about Tuesday's cyberbullying summit. Here are just some of the many tweets addressing the First Lady's latest anti-cyberbullying efforts. Some Twitter users explicitly urged Melania to take her husband's phone away, or at the very least to concentrate her anti-cyberbullying efforts on him. This Twitter user was not alone in suggesting that cyberbullying rates would decrease if Donald Trump no longer had access to his phone. One Twitter user felt so strongly about taking away Donald Trump's phone that she had a creative idea for how Melania could do so. In response to Melania's assertion that she would not be stopped from doing what is right, this Twitter user made it clear that nobody was trying to stop her. In fact, Twitter just wants Melania to look a little closer to home. One Twitter user suggested that Melania simply chooses to ignore her husband's existence when she tweets. Another user even came up with this alternate headline to describe Melania's anti-cyberbullying efforts. Still others pointed out that Melania and her husband seem to have very different plans when it comes to cyberbullying. Huffington Post writer Andy Ostroy went so far as to describe Melania's efforts against cyberbullying as duplicitous and an affront to every American. Even before the cyberbullying summit took place, Twitter users questioned Melania's sincerity. Ahead of Tuesday's summit, journalist Ashley Marie Preston encouraged Melania to sit down with Twitter executives to discuss disabling her husband's account, implying that such a move would be a tangible way to reduce cyberbullying rates. Think Progress journalist Aaron Ruper argued that all of Donald Trump's actions, including his cyberbullying, render Melania's efforts fairly meaningless. While some Twitter users urged Melania to talk to her husband, others argued that it was too late and that Melania has been complicit in the president's cyberbullying by not calling him out on it. Melania's husband has, after all, used a number of different insults to insult lawmakers, celebrities, and others, and Twitter has routinely been his platform of choice. In fact, the New York Times reported last summer that the president was on track to insult 650 people, places, and things by the end of his first term. Since he first launched his presidential campaign back in spring 2015, Donald Trump has dismissed the media as fake news and the enemy of the American people, referred to Mexicans as drug dealers, criminals, and rapists, and suggested that Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg resign on the basis that her mind is shot. The list of insults that Trump has made is so long that multiple outlets, like the New York Times and the Los Angeles Times, are maintaining running lists of everything and everyone he insults. The president has denigrated lawmakers and journalists who don't agree with him, and has frequently resorted to name-calling. This is precisely why many Twitter users, as well as Trump administration critics, have responded so harshly to Melania's anti-cyberbullying efforts. If she wants to stop cyberbullying, they argue, she may have to start with a president whose tweets frequently make headlines. Please subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.